You can see how short I like to wear my hair on the sides. And if there's any wishes I had when I used my flow beats that I could get just a little bit tighter on the sides. And so today I'm going to show you two flow beat attachments that do not come standard in the kit. You have to order them separately. You can get them directly from Flowbee's website. And I'm going to show you the difference today. So we can see the blades there down in the Flowbee. And it's probably a quarter inch up to the outside rim of that. So there's a gap there, obviously. And the standard attachments for the Flowbee, this is the, the standard flat attachment, goes in. And probably creates, I don't know, maybe almost an inch uh, of space, give or take. And so, you know, you've got to have these ridges up here in order to, to for the head to stand off from your um, scalp so that the air can get sucked in and create that flow. But this is the shortest that comes in the kit right here. So you can see that spacer. This, and hopefully you can see that clear plastic up against the black background, is the optional flat, short spacer that you can order directly from Floby. Here you can see in the top the gray or the, the tan colored uh, attachments. These are the stock attachments from Floby. This is the straight, and this is the angled for the side of your head. The clear plastic ones are the optional ones that you can order from Flowbee. This is called the short flat and this is called the short angled. So if you can see those, I'm going to get down here and show you what the difference is in height. Hopefully you can see the difference in height there. So again, these little rails right here, that's the standoff from the cutting head on the Flowbee. So the optional attachment here is about half the size as this one right here. And that's on both of those attachments. Here's the difference on the angled attachment. I'm trying to get a good focus here and hopefully you can see the difference in height, the clear spacer is about half the height as the colored spacer, which is the stock. And when you connect these to the head, you can see right away, that's how far the standard attachment sticks out from the head of the Floby. And the optional attachment, you can see how far that sticks out. Not very far at all. You can get a really nice close cut with this. And this is how tight you can get with the angled attachment. If you want to get a closer cut with the Flowbee, you can. You just have to order these optional spacers, which were five bucks a piece. And I ordered the flat one when I ordered the Flowbee originally. And they said, well, that's an additional five dollars. I said, no problem. They sent that. Then I had one of my subscribers told me about the angled adapter and so I just ordered that and just got that in and it, it really finishes off the Flowbee for somebody with a style haircut like I've got. I hope that explains how to get a closer, tighter cut with the Flowbee and shows you the comparison between the optional attachments and the stock attachments. And if you found this video interesting or informative, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button below and I'll see you in the next video.